Hello everyone, this is Lucas, and tonight I am laying in my new bed in my bicycle camper, and I just wanted to show you guys my new shelves I put up last night. I got one here, I got one here, I got one here, and I got another one here. Uh, this one's actually going to go, or I'm going to cut it down because I kind of messed up because this is where my wash tub hangs, where that bag is hanging right there. Um, you saw that in my other video, the wash tub. Um, I pulled it out of here to put up the coolers, but... Um, I'm going to be cutting that off in order to hang the wash tub back up in its original place. Um, what they are is a couple old coolers, styrofoam coolers that somebody had kicked out of their car on um, Signum Park Industrial Area. And um, they just left them on the side of the road to get smushed. So I cut them in half. I peeled them to the wall with a screw, just a single screw to hold them on until the PL um, set up and then painted them gray like the rest of the camper with floor paint. Um, I also finished my bean bag. <clears throat> kind of proud of this. Uh, this is the inner bag and this is the outer bag and it does it's very large. Um, it basically takes up the same spot that the original single mattress did so this is just as big as a single mattress. Um, what it is is a queen size sheet I sewed in half with my Singer Handy Stitch. If you've watched any of my other videos, um, I have a video um, on my channel, uh, How to Thread and Repair a Singer Handy, handy Stitch. Um, I did three passes of the Handy Stitch in order to make sure that the styrofoam uh, or the polystyrene pieces wouldn't come out of the bag. All I used was a bunch of cutoffs from um, after building the camper and uh, a whole bunch of other styrofoam I found that was left over from everybody's Christmas furniture. Um, again, like I said in my other videos, um, HomeSense, JISC, uh, Winners, um, all these kind of places that sell furniture. Um, and this, uh, you know, anybody who's getting uh, uh, Ikea stuff or whatever, and a lot of this stuff has uh, um, polystyrene pieces in it, and I just collected them all up, and I filled an entire um, queen size sheet you know uh, sewn in half uh, hand sewed the outer bag in half as again a queen size um, this is just a bedspread queen size bedspread it kind of looks like I don't know, some kind of magic carpet which is weird because I feel like maybe I'm living in some kind of weird magic carpet this is like a really weird experience I don't know how to explain it I've never felt this way before this is so messed up living this thing but it works i don't get it it just works um well i get it i built it right but the feeling's weird I, it's hard to explain um all in all the bean bag comes in at eight pounds which is a fraction of the 30 pounds of the original um single mattress um, there is uh, some things you got to know about a uh, star of bean bag though um, is that you can't smoke or have any flame near it because it's polystyrene and it melts and you don't want to be on it if you catch fire with it from an ember or something like that. I don't smoke cigarettes um, so it's not an issue for me smoking in bed and anything that I have flame related I do in the action and um, down here of the truck camper or the bicycle camper this isn't a truck camper <clears throat> um the pieces of um polystyrene i didn't cut them up very large they're still kind of big but um crushing them down over time um they're gonna lose a lot of its volume i know that so i actually have an extra bag of star uh, uh, polystyrene pieces um, to refill this after it gets crushed down too much because that did happen with my other bag and the truck camper that I built um, There's a video on that as well um, It's hot compared to the regular mattress I had in before this is a lot Warmer like a lot warmer um, You start to reflect heat almost instantly sitting on this whereas the other one I wouldn't be comfortably warm i'd say unless i was already in bed for a couple hours um this one here as soon as i get in bed i'm like warm almost instantly and because of the way it's shaped and everything else i'm not losing any air due to gaps or anything like that weird things happening that way and uh in general yeah just a better night's sleep i mean it's it's neat to sleep on and it's yeah it's comfy so yeah um 
only locking a couple more things in here. I need to get a small fire extinguisher for inside here. I got a big one I just put outside my door for the time being, but uh, I need to mount a little small one in here somewhere and, you know, clean up the cords a little bit. And then after that, I've pretty much got everything I want to do inside. Um, got some epoxy to do the outside once it's warm. And uh, we'll finish up all the paint job and all that stuff on the outside for the last of it. Um, but this thing is almost ready to go. If you like these videos, give us a thumbs up and subscribe.